there's nothing quite like the feeling of thinking you had it all figured out, only to get to the end of a game and to have that confidence snatched away from you and rubbed mercilessly in your face. From classic villain reveals to mind-blowing, game-changing plot twists, these horror games offer you a great selection of twist endings. So let's take a look. I'm Amy from What Culture, and here are 10 horror video games with shocking twist endings. 10. Dead Space Nicole is dead and Kendra is a traitor. We're gonna start with a big one to get it out the way. For those unfamiliar with the game, Dead Space follows the crew of the maintenance ship, Kellyan, as they arrive on Aegis 7, a planet ravaged by a virus that reanimates corpses into zombie-like monsters called necromorphs. Protagonist Isaac wants to find out what became of his girlfriend, Nicole, as she was stationed there on another ship. Aegis 7 is revealed to be the home of an alien marker, the attempted weaponizing of which was the cause of the necromorph virus. The main issue is choosing what to do with this marker. It was previously brought aboard Nicole's ship and indirectly caused the deaths of everyone there. Isaac intends to leave the marker on Aegis 7, but Kendra initiates the first of our big revelations. She's not just a simple computer technician, but works on the behalf of the Earth government, who demand that the marker be brought back to Earth. With Nicole's help, Isaac is able to thwart Kendra's attempts to nick the marker, only to have her drop another bomb. She reveals that Nicole has been dead all along. The Nicole that Isaac has been seeing, interacting with, and at times even protecting from necromorphs has been nothing more than a hallucination. If you're very observant, then you may have been able to see this coming based on a few clues, my favourite of which is that if you take the first letter from each of the chapter names, it literally spells out Nicole is dead. Bit cheeky, that is. 9. Mad Father Aya follows in her father's footsteps Going a bit more obscure now, we have Mad Father, an indie RPG released in 2012. The basic story follows a young girl, Aya, who tries to survive and escape her father's house after finding out his intentions for her. She's aware that he conducts experiments on humans in the basement, but when they escape one day, it's revealed to her that he intends to kill and taxidermy her in order to keep her with him forever. Basically, her dad's a full-blown psycho, even going as far as to kill Aya's mother in the years prior out of fear that she would take Aya away from him. As with most RPGs of its kind, there are multiple endings, but if you play well and get the true ending, then Aya's real nature is revealed. After all the trauma and disgust in her childhood, finding out her father was responsible for horrible mutilations and killings, apparently Aya isn't deterred from a life of evil science, but instead drawn to it. Years later, she runs a free surgery, offering medical assistance to anyone free of charge. We see her take in a poor woman and a niece ties her, with her partner in crime and also her dad's former lover, Maria, stating that Aya has clearly followed in her father's footsteps and that it must run in the family. Combine this with the earlier showing that Aya's dad's surgical book survived a house fire and we realise that she's become the very madman she earlier ran from, taking people off the street and murdering them on her surgical table. 8. Cry of Fear It was all in his head Set in murky grey Sweden, Cry of Fear starts with protagonist Simon awakening having been ploughed down by a car. He soon finds that he's in the wrong part of town, with creepy, deformed monsters lurking around every corner. As his adventure continues, Simon comes across Sophie, his childhood best friend and crush, and later a traitorous doctor. Depending on how you play, there are a few different specifics of how the ending can go, but the main reveal is this, that the whole traversal of the monster-infested town has been a figment of Simon's imagination. Having suffered life-changing injuries, injuries in a car crash years earlier, Simon became deeply depressed and, on the advice of his therapist, began writing about his traumas in a book. The Simon we've been playing as is the fictional one from the writings. Sophie and the Doctor are real people in his life, the latter being his therapist, and all the monsters represent Simon's inner turmoils. It's basically one big psychotic episode, which makes it a bit better than the it was all a dream trope, but we're still on thin ice. 7. The Sinking City You were invited by an evil deity. Heading in for a bit of Lovecraftian horror now, we have The Sinking City. Our protagonist is Charles Winfield Reed, a private investigator who's been suffering with horrifying visions and nightmares ever since the war. He receives an invitation from Johannes Vanderberg, an intellectual in the town of Oakmont, to visit the town and uncover the causes behind his visions. Other people share the same ailment as him, it seems, and most of them are in Oakmont. Eager to to rid himself of his troubles, Reed 
goes along. And once there, he's hired by a local to discover the cause of a serious flood that's wreaked havoc on the town. Well, it turns out the flood isn't just a result of poor city planning, but actually a deep evil plot. Johannes Vanderberg, the man that invited him, actually turns out to be a good mate of the monstrous entity Cthulhu. What Reed had hoped was a place to go to cure his ailments was instead a ploy to welcome in the apocalypse all along. 6. Stories Untold it was all a trauma trip. The first chapter of Stories Untold consists of you playing as an unnamed player of another in-game game, set in a decrepit house and haunted by slowly surfacing memories, nasty notes and unplaceable anger. Secondly, you play as Mr. Asian, conducting experiments on an artifact from a crash site. The artifact appears to be sentient and, after establishing a connection with Asian, communicates with his colleague, Dr. Alexander, through another in-game game. In the third chapter, you play as James, a scientist in the Arctic. A series of problems with communications lead James outside, where he attempts to fix a transmitter whilst other Arctic stations command him to wake up. See where this is going yet? The final episode sees you play as James Asian, a combination of the two player names we got before. It's revealed that he's been in a coma following an accident and his memories need to be recovered. With the help of Dr. Alexander and several of the settings and items from previous chapters, the story is revealed. Following a party, James drove drunk with his sister in the car and got into a collision. This resulted in his sister's death and he attempted to frame another driver for causing the incident. The previous episodes were projections of Asian's guilt, and the final chapter is the recollection of truth being recorded by his doctor. 5. Resident Evil Wesker is working for Umbrella. Back to another big title, now we have the first Resident Evil game. You play as a member of the Alpha Team, sent to investigate some strange murders that have been occurring on the outskirts of Raccoon City, alongside a few others including Albert Wesker, the head of the team. You learn on your journey that illegal experimentation is being supported by the Umbrella Corporation, and that it's this experimentation that has created the monsters you encounter. At points, you can encounter members of the Bravo team that you were sent to find, including their captain who warns you that a member of your crew is a traitor. By the time you find the underground lab housing the experiments, Wesker reveals to you that he's a double agent and is intending to use the products of the experiments for his own gain. To be fair, even with prior warning, it's a nice twist. The focus of the game isn't exactly to be Sherlock Holmes and find out the mole. Most of the time, you're too busy just focusing on surviving. Four. Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly. The twins' fates are reversed. This particular twist is a good one because it's something quite different. There's no double agent enemy reveal, no revolutionary dream sequence. Tecmo really thought outside the box for this one. Not directly related to the first Fatal Frame game, Crimson Butterfly follows twins Mio and Mayu as they find themselves in trouble with a dead town and a failed ritual. They learn that the town was swallowed by an abyss after they failed to complete a ritual, in which the younger of a pair of twins born to the town must be sacrificed. The implied fate of the girls throughout is that Mio, the younger of the twins, is destined to die and complete the ritual. However, nearing the end of the game, it's revealed that in the town, the idea of an older and younger twin is reversed. The younger twin is thought to be the one who's born first, as the older one allows them to do so because they're weaker. This reverses their destinies, so that Mayu is now the younger twin and the one destined to die. There are multiple endings to the game, but the true ending is confirmed in the next game. It's confirmed that the twins went through with it, and with their newfound knowledge, Mio killed her twin and fulfilled the ritual. 3. Bioshock you've been hypnotized. When the pieces all fall into place for Bioshock's big reveal, it really is something to behold. On arriving in the sunken city of Rapture, things seem to be totally ruined. There are evil splicers running about, no civilized society remains, and the whole place is in bits. So thank goodness Atlas is there to help guide you, eh? After being in contact with the mysterious Atlas throughout the game, steering you through the dangers of fallen Rapture, by the time the player character Jack clocks that something is is wrong, things have already gone way too far. After being compelled to kill Rapture's creator, Andrew Ryan, when he requests, would you kindly do so, Jack connects the dots. He realizes that the phrase has been the opener for many of Atlas's requests and commands, and that it's acting as a trigger
trigger for a sort of hypnotic obedience state. Atlas is no simple ally, and Jack has been brainwashed even before the start of the game. It makes for an amazing reveal when you consider that so much of Jack's supposed free will has been completely controlled by Atlas, or as it turns out, Fontaine, for his own means. 2. Silent Hill 2 – James Killed His Own Wife the Silent Hill franchise is certainly amongst some of the most well-known names in the horror game genre. Its second instalment came out in 2001, following our player character James Sunderland's adventure to Silent Hill when he receives a letter from his dead wife Mary asking him to meet her there. On his search for Mary, he encounters other traumatised people around the town and a small variety of hideous monsters. Eventually, James finds a tape that shows him euthanising his wife, and the letter he supposedly received from her becomes a blank piece of paper. He realises at this point that all the monsters he's seeing are products of his own mind, punishing him for killing his wife. Furthermore, Maria, the doppelganger of Mary he keeps seeing, must be slain again and again to make him relive the painful experience of seeing his wife die. James is the bad guy in his own story, and his trip to Silent Hill is a pilgrimage of repentance. 1. The Witch's House The Old Switcheroo Finishing strong, we have this puzzle-based horror from 2012. The game begins as a young girl, Viola, wakes up in the middle of the woods. The only sign of civilization around is a large house, which she must approach and enter only to find herself locked inside. Through finding various clues, you uncover that the house was inhabited by a witch named Ellen. Ellen was a sick child whose parents neglected her until she eventually killed them and made a deal with a demon to transform her into a witch. Eventually, you gain an item that allows you to burn through the thick rose bushes, keeping you trapped in the forest. However, on enacting this, the true nature of your player character is revealed. Prior to the start of the game, Ellen forced Viola to swap bodies with her, hence giving herself a vessel free of sickness. Throughout the game, when playing as Viola escaping the witch, we were really playing as the witch inside Viola's body, as Viola's spirit inside the witch's old vessel attempted to trap us in the house and get her body back. In the end, Viola's dad comes to rescue his daughter, completely unaware that the girl he's taking home is inhabited by the witch's spirit, and that his real daughter, trapped in a sickly body, has been duped and left to die. It's a bit crushing, because after the real Viola, stuck in the witch's body, isn't recognised by her own dad, she can die of despair. But at the same time, nobody could claim that it didn't make for a fantastic twist ending. And with that, we've reached the end of this list of 10 horror video games with shocking twist endings. Tell us about your favourites in the comments down below, and in the meantime, remember to check out whatculture.com for more lists and articles like this every day. I've been Amy from Whatculture, and I'll catch you next time.